Hey John, got your Roadster T5026 booster on the tester, uh, all ready to go. First thing I do before I turn the machine on is I test your brake light switch. And we'll get some pressure here. And you can see the BOM makes continuity. And we'll start. All right, maybe you can hear the tone. Anyway. Brake light switch works. All right, so <clears throat> gonna hit it with the vacuum uh, at the back here. We've got. Um, let's see, I don't need this on. Turn this off. Let's go over the booster here. Uh, the back, you have a uh, plug that here is is a test port, and this uh, test port is hooked up to this vacuum hose, which goes over to my control uh, gauge, and then the vac the main vacuum is hooked up here which goes up to this uh, called the constant and what happens when uh, the vacuum on my uh, vacuum pump on the test machine uh, goes to work both these gauges are going to register uh, the vacuum as produced by my vacuum pump and then as the booster is activated this gauge is going to go to zero and, the, and the, as soon as it hits zero the booster is fully activated on this side we've got the uh, hydraulic input both gauges are tied together this gauge goes up and maxes out and this gauge reads final input pressure is supplied by my uh, master cylinder on the uh, test machine output this these two gauges are tied together this gauge is going to go up and uh, max out and this great gauge will read final output pressure when you've got vacuum now then without vacuum the pressure in is the same as the pressure out the uh, booster just bypasses uh, just pre uh, pushes fluid in one side and out the other. So you can see you've got 350 in, 350 out, 350 out. Now then, since this booster is a major beast, you can see how big this can is and then how small the diameter is. We've got a four to one boost ratio. So this thing puts out a lot of pressure. And so while it's under pressure, we'll be checking for a leak here. This is a point of leakage. We've got your bleed screw, your leak, I'm sorry, your bleed hole on the other side which uh, as you know is seeping and uh, obviously it's not seeping anymore and then we also check our, our bleed screw for uh, fluid and I meant to say that uh, at 350 we're gonna want uh, we're gonna have a four four to one boost ratio. So uh, four times 350. So that's gonna be 350 700. So we should be getting 1400 psi out over in this area on that gauge. Got you a good booster. Now, one thing I want to note is the these are 10 by 1 threads in here, and you've got 10 by 1 tapered threads on the brake light switch. Somebody screwed this thing in way too far. This is uh, just supposed to be screwed in until the uh, taper seals up. So, uh, in the future, uh, this may be splayed out internally. So, if this gauge ever, if this brake light switch ever goes belly up, you may have to screwed in just as far as this one and I've seen some of them using a copper washer underneath there or else just by another uh, brass fitting but um, I didn't touch this this fitting because it's uh, it's too rare and I didn't want to take a chance of it getting lost in the, the plater so that's why it 
not as shiny as the other one, but everything's been CAD plated like original. All the hydraulics have been replaced. As I mentioned to you, I had to reuse the uh, vacuum pieces, but they were in exceptionally good condition. So you are good to go. This is a good, really nice booster. Thanks for sending it to me.